Welcome to Business Over a Brew, the show where we talk business with some of the Riverbend's most interesting and influential business leaders all over a nice brew. Today, we visit with Mike Weller of AP Cigar Shop on Airline Drive in East Alton. Mike will educate us about truly great cigars and a growing business community on Airline Drive. So let's get to it. It's the Business Over a Brew podcast from AP Cigar Shop. Welcome to Business Over a Brew. We're, we're back with Mike Weller of AP Cigars. Mike, how you doing? Nick, how are you? Thanks for joining us. Appreciate Man, it. Man, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, let's just start with, just, just tell us a little bit about AP Cigar, how it got started, how you got into the business of, of cigars. Yeah. Um, a couple years ago, um, this space came available and I've been looking for a space to open up a cigar shop. I've uh, always smoked cigars, never been a cigarette guy, just always straight to cigars and always smoked them. And when the space came available, we had everything already purchased to open up. And so we decided just to give it a try and, and go for it. I loved them. I was going to smoke them. So if somebody else joined me, fantastic. So, uh, and it's, uh, it's done pretty well. It's picked up great. So there's, there's definitely different types of cigars. There's, you can go to a gas station and buy the, the, best. the lower end stuff. No. <laughs> the lower end stuff. But sure. you come here, if, if you're more of a, you're looking for something a little bit better, right? Yeah, absolutely. We have cigars from $2 to $35. Mm-hmm. So, and there is no the best cigar. Each person has their own best cigar. Somebody's favorite cigar might be that $2 stick. Uh, someone's favorite cigar might be the $35 cigar. You know, so um, we got them from all price points and all taste buds. So we have them from flavored. We have them taste like coffee. Uh, there's cigars out now that uh, taste and smell like pipe smoking. Uh, there's cigars that are cherry. And, you know, these are premium, hand rolled, just wonderfully flavored cigars. So each one in the store is, is hand rolled, you were talking about. Every, yeah, every cigar in here is hand rolled. Uh, what's neat about a cigar, just a little back, from the time somebody plants the seed for the tobacco plant to the time that you grab it, cut it, and light it, 300 people have worked on that cigar. From curing the tobacco, from prepping the tobacco to be rolled, to the rolling, to the packaging, to getting it here and getting it into your hands. So it's a lot of, lot of process, a lot of time. So the average tobacco leaf has to age seven years before you can even think about using it. Hmm. So there's a, there's a lot of patience involved with a cigar. And then when you smoke it, it takes that same patience. You just, you light it and you enjoy it. It's not something you rush through. It's something that you kick back, you relax. You smoke that cigar and just, you know, helps you reflect on the good, the bad, and the next day too. What are you, what are you going to conquer the next day? I th- you, we were talking about education and just, you know, some people have come in that are not cigar smokers, but they can still find something. And you can help them find something yeah, that they yeah. like. Yeah, we, we, love, we, love, we love the guys that come in, the first-time guys. And when they tell me they're the first-time guys, it makes it even easier. So, you know, we, we go through the cigars, you know, if it's flavored, if it's infused, if it's fermented, or if it's a traditional cigar, we find something that is going to be up their alley or what we hope is up their alley. And then we'll even go down to how to cut, <clears throat> how to cut the cigar, how to light it. Um, and even how to smoke it, you know, it's not to rush it, not mm-hmm. to, you know, not to smash it out when it's, when it's done. You know, there's just, there's certain etiquette that, you know, what we love to, we love to educate. We love to show people. We want them to hang out in the shop. We want them to just, you know, we, we kind of joke and say, you know, you smoke cigars and tell lies. That's what we do in here. So you smoke cigars and, and tell lies. There is definitely a social aspect of, of smoking a cigar. You know what's great is we've had ladies nights in here. Uh, we've had, we have business owners that come in and everybody that comes in, you know, there's always jokes being told. There's always, you know, your woes for the day, your victories for the day. So, you know, we joke about coming in and telling lies, but really you come in and, and everybody's always a part of the conversation. You know, there could be, half the room is women smoking cigars half the room is men smoking cigars and there's such great conversation going on and there's a lot of helpfulness in here it really is there's uh between business owners uh between business owners and just the clients that come in everybody just seems to kind of go the extra mile for the people they meet in here so it's a really a neat environment and a neat family a neat community that that spawns from from right here where we're sitting yeah and you know, one of the interesting things that I've, I've learned about this, just this area here on Airline Drive yeah. 
you, you guys really have a, a growing business community that's that's really close knit. Yeah, it's uh, the the community here. Everybody on the street is amazing how they work. Even you know businesses that aren't aren't traditional businesses like the churches. You know they come over. They they when they make cookies for to bake sale, they bring over bags of cookies. I mean it's just it's absolutely fantastic how everybody works together from one end of the street to the other. We're not on a main drag. So it's, you know, we, we promote within and, you know, it's, it, it, you can feel it. You can, you know, everybody, you know, it's from up, up and down the street, everybody takes care of each other. We bounce ideas off each other. So it's really, it's a great community to be a part of. It's kind of nerve wracking when you open up, you know, away from where everybody's walking by. But when you get into this community, it's fantastic. One of the things about, about being a business owner or running a business owner, it, it can be kind of a lonely position. Um, because they're, you know, you're not commiserating with the employees because they're, they're working for you and they see you as the boss. So, uh, but this can be a place and you talked yeah. about where business owners can come and kind of commiserate together. Yeah. These, <clears throat> that's the thing, you know, last night I was, we closed at 6 PM last night I was here till eight. There's a business owner that just needed to vent, you know, and it's one of those things where they come in, they vent. They rather work it out themselves. We work it out together. Or sometimes it's just nice to vent. Sometimes you have great days and you wanna you wanna just brag to someone who appreciates that that right. that, that conquer versus you know saying it publicly. You know sometimes when you do well, it, it you know people look at you a little funny, and if you do bad, they look at you a little funny. This is a place where you get to these guys come in and these guys and girls they come in and they you know they get to be themselves and they get to just let it go and they get cheered on, listened to, and it's it's a great environment just to kind of decompress from the work day. And most of the business owners that I that I talk to and meet with, I mean, they want their workplace to be a great place to go to work. Oh yeah. And if the venting is taking place on the employees instead of somewhere <laughs> kind, else, then it's not a great place to work. Kind of drives down morale when that happens. Sure. Right, <laughs> yeah. So it's a, it, it is a great environment for that. And it, you know, it's nice because it's, all fellow business owners, you know, that, you know, nobody speaks when it's not. So if there's five guys here that all own businesses, we get to complain about whatever, get it off our chest, go in the next day with the, you know, better spirits than we had the day before. And, you know, everybody, you know, everybody does well from that. So there is a social aspect to the shop, but it doesn't have to be that way too. If you want to just come in, grab a cigar or oh, yeah. a gift, uh, you know, gifts for friends. You yep. can, you can do that too. Yeah, we do. You know, it's, and uh, it's probably half the business just comes, buys and leaves. You know, everybody's got a busy schedule. So, you know, we, we get them in and out real quick. If they, uh, if that's a, if that's their mission, we always invite them to stay. The lounge here is free. We don't charge to, you know, to sit on the chairs, you know? And so that's why when you walk in the lounges first, cigars are in the back. Really it's about the camaraderie more than it is the cigar. We just bond over the leaf. I want to get back to the cigars and just kind of, I'm kind of, I'm fascinated by the process of just where they come from, how you go about purchasing them. The uh, cigars come from, parts of the leaf come from literally all over the world. So um, there's cigar wholesalers for some of your bigger traditional cigars. Um, there is, we also have, we're family direct with some of the bigger uh, exclusive companies. So your upper echelon cigars are AJ Fernandez, Padrones. We're family direct with them. So we, we just call up a drone and place our order and <clears throat> wait for it to come. So mm -hmm. most of the cigar, everybody who sells cigars in this country typically has an office in Florida. So that's a warehouse in Florida. So they'll come from Esteli, Nicaragua, Dominican Republic, um, Ecuador. They're, they're literally Brazil. They come from all over. Um, some of your best cigars, uh, leaves come from Connecticut. You know, St. Louis used to be a fantastic place to grow. The Midwest was a great place to grow tobacco. They got cold at night, so we didn't, or cold in the winter, so we didn't have tobacco beetles as bad as they are where it doesn't get cold. Mm -hmm. So St. Louis used to be a central hub for tobacco. Not so much anymore. Everybody, you know, went south to the board, you know, to the equator. So. You've been in this business a long time, and, you know, as I look at just the landscape of society, there's so many changes with social media and how we communicate with each other. What, how has that changed the business? Well, I, I think it's changed the demographic as well. So we do a lot of our advertising on social media mm -hmm. and, you know, we put on different events and we, we do all this, you know, 
with with the intent of trying to reach as many people as possible and then there's but you know there's certain people who there's apps now for it's there's uh, apps for cigar shops only hmm. so you it you just hit the app it finds your location so we've had clientele come in from missouri they come into alden for alden's alden's just exploding doing great mm -hmm. things with small business there's a lot of great attractions in alden and there's you know we're the closest cigar shop so they hit the app and it pulls us right to them we had a busload of people that were at fast eddie's came in the shop's not that big so when a busload right. of people come in that just left, <laughs> just left fast eddie's it was uh it livened the place up a little bit for sure, sure you know so we you know it's it's always welcome we love when people find us um there's you know i've been to cigar shops in st louis and they all have pictures on their phones of this cigar shop. So it's really neat. So the, the business community of cigar, uh, cigar retailers is very close knit. And so, you know, I go out to them, patronize them, they come here and do the same. So. What's been the biggest challenge of, of running the shop? I, I think, I don't know too much of the challenge. Keeping up this year with sales is, is been a, a fabulous challenge. It's been a great challenge. That's a good one to have. Yeah, no, it really has. Um, opening, you know, it's it's always the cigars have always been my passion. You know, it, this has always been the end game. There's not a lot of profit in cigars. There's not a lot of mm -hmm. profit to be here. Um, I got put in a position to we could open up, we can sustain, and we can sell cigars at a great price. And so that was that that just kind of opened the doors for everything. So not only do I work here, um, there's a couple other people that also work here too. So it's a nice break from another job. I got a, I got a retired person who comes in, he works for cigars. You know, it's just, it's just a laid back atmosphere. So, I mean, there's, it, it, you can't get too ruffled up when you're smoking a cigar. Sure, right. So there, there's not, not too many obstacles. We got a high tax rate in this state um, on tobacco, uh, one of the highest in the nation. Right. And so that's why there's not a lot of cigar shops open because mm -hmm. if this is your only revenue stream, it's definitely going to hurt you. Sure, because that tax rate obviously cuts into the profits. Tax rate, tux, sure. yeah, it sure right. does. So, and it's hard to compete with the internet. The mm -hmm. internet sells a lot of cigars right now, and so, and if they sell out of Florida where there is no tobacco tax, then they can obviously sell those cigars cheaper. Is the internet side a side that you see yourself going into at some point? Not at all. No. You know, because you lose you lose that camaraderie. Sure. You know, I can sell I can sell Beanie Babies online. Right. I'm not. I'm. You know, I I love cigars. So, and it's not just the cigar. It's it's everything that comes with it. Right. It's sitting here having a beer, smoking a cigar. Right. And just BSing. Sure. You guys have an event coming up, pretty soon. Yeah, we have uh, this. So our first year open, we didn't really do any events. We just kind of just got our just got our feet in the ground just kind of started off nice and smooth. Uh, this year we've been doing more and more events. Uh, the first Saturday of every month we do cars and cigars. So we fill the parking lot up with just a, a name a genre of automobile and it's pretty much here and it's really neat. So we all, we barbecue, we smoke cigars. So that's the first Saturday of every month when it's nice, mm -hmm. you know. Um, August 11th, we have our airline drive-in and that's gonna be a really great time. We got some, a couple St. Louis and uh, Missouri businesses coming over. We have the Wood Den and he's bringing, I don't have a cigar shop Indian outside. And so for two years, I haven't had one. And so uh, Ryan Meyer's coming up, he's gonna bring a chainsaw and a big log of wood and he's gonna carve me out a cigar shop Indian. So you have one, just yeah, like that. Just like that, <laughs> just, and it's made right here. So I mean, how much, it can't get any cooler for me. That, that, that's, cool. that, that's really neat. Um, we have Strange Donuts coming from St. Louis, which they've never been in the river bend. So that's kind of a neat thing. So all the businesses, Casa Romero, Airliner, First Stop Bay Shop, they're all gonna offer special deals for that day because we have people coming from both sides of the river. Last year when we did, we had some folks coming in from Ohio. So it's kind of neat, it's something different for the street. Um, this year we, uh, for Christmas time, it was the first time ever on Airline Drive, we actually had holiday banners up and down the street. So it was, uh, uh, work, I worked with the fire department and just paid a little bit of money and, and sponsored them to get them up. And it's, this community deserves that. This sure. community deserves to have things here because it's a f the residents here are fantastic. I've never met nicer people. I mean, they're just every single one of them. The lady two rows down, I mowed her grass for a whole entire summer last summer because I didn't know where she was. She was paying somebody, I was mowing it for free. You know, but that's just the relationship right. we have here. So, I mean, I, everybody is amazing. I've gotten phone calls, you know, that 
your lights are on or you left your open sign on or you know and it's the, the residents here are fantastic they're very supportive of what we do up here and I think that's how I think that's the beauty of our small business community in the area but as specifically here is just you know trying to help each other out and um, you know to, to be able to compete oh absolutely you know and it in what's nice on this street there is no competition on the street mm -hmm. we don't have to pick or choose everybody right. here does their own thing and it's and it's amazing and everybody up here is such high quality you know the bakery down the street is small it's mom and pop and man they knock out some of the best food right. I've ever had um, you know the, the Casa Romero packs it in every weekend I mean they're just a staple the airliner I think tonight's free bar bingo I mean they're packed in all the time the body shop down the road just well, can paint stuff you didn't couldn't even imagine. So, so it's, it's really become a, a team of small businesses. Oh, absolutely! Very cool. This, 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 it, it's fantastic. From from the stereo shop all the way down to Rob's mufflers. I mean, and there's there's some automotive, there's some food, there's grocery even at Farm Fresh. You know, there's a cigar shop that you know we don't really have one anywhere else. Sure. So we really have some unique things here, from you know the bakery, you know, to custom automotive work that it's hard to find anywhere else, and especially so close together. If people want to find out more about the upcoming events, including the airline drive-in, where can they go? They can do the Facebook, uh, it's AP Cigar on Facebook. There's also for the all the all the businesses on Airline Drive, we have Shop Airline Drive, so it's facebook.com slash shop airline drive. And you know, it'd be certain businesses, we're on a special, <clears throat> when the, uh, when the, even when the storage unit has their auctions, they get posted on there. So. Um, it's all of us kind of working together, you know, just to support the whole entire street. Cool. Mike, thanks for joining Nick, us. Nick, appreciate time. it. Thank it's you, fun. Mike. That does it for this episode. Thanks to Mike Weller of AP Cigars on Airline Drive in East Alton. Tune in next time for more video of me drinking beer with some of the Riverbend's most interesting and influential business leaders on the Business Over a Brew podcast. Oh, no, I know where I was. I'm just giving you a hard time. Okay. This is going to be a good outtakes video. Yeah. <laughs>